Hello, my checks are. Right now we are in the Heidegger 2 virtual space in Altspace VR. Uh, and I'm here with lovely folks from MekiV. Could you introduce yourselves? Hello, Hello my name is Begum and I am marketing director of MekiV slash VRTV. Everyone, uh, name is Miri, Miri Arkak. EXR account manager from Mekivi. I help businesses find their XR needs and realize their ideas into functional XR projects such as VR trainings, simulations, and AR marketing campaigns. So, how has your personal journey with XR looked like? Hmm. Um, mine actually started in 2015 or 16. Uh, my friend in Istanbul first time he made me try headsets and I finished like a simulation in a room with robots and stuff. It was my first time to try virtual reality. How about this awesome Cave Digger 2 space? Can you tell me more about this? We are standing in Cave Digger 2 universe. Uh, in one of the cane, caves inside of the game. Uh, the game is an early access at the moment uh, in Steam. And in 2022, we are going to be fully releasing in Q1. It's a sequel game of Cave Digger 1 that's been published in 2018 with 200,000 sales, uh, sold units. Um, so it's going to be the biggest VR production coming from Finland next year. And we are super proud about it. Uh, and VR TV and MechTV, can you tell me more about the companies that you work under? I'll go for MechTV. Yeah. I said earlier, I'm responsible for B2B relations and B2B XR projects. So MechTV is an XR development house in Finland with solutions that focus on tailor-made immersive XR applications for business clients. Under our VR TV brand, also we develop and publish VR games, such as the successful Cave Digger Circle. You can give more information on that. On the other hand, XR staff trainings, simulations, games, as well as mobile AR campaigns, like product demonstrations, event invitations, AR guides, uh, E60 material, are all in the area of Makivis expertise. Basically, if you have an idea, we help you make it a reality. And in the studio part, uh, we are biggest VR game uh, development and publishing studio from Finland. Uh, we have the biggest team that is fully dedicated on VR games making. And we are not only making our own games, we are also, if you have a game idea, we can develop it for you. If you have already made game we can port it to all the vr platforms that you can imagine for you and if you are happy with everything but you just need extra visibility in a very niche subject such as vr game marketing we can also help you with that and how about the projects what projects have you worked on so far uh, for the business our side we have have worked on a couple of like multiple interesting projects also i'm proud to say that like at mickey we are always doing the stuff as first so for example like the first uh security training in vr let's say and first mixed reality experience in finland that has ever done we have for example that was an interesting case and the whole crew from mickey we were interested and excited to do it was the winter war simulations that we did last year and this year we did operatio suentas based on still the finnish winter war and it's a mixed reality experience where we used various latest headset xr3 also we included a physical suomi uh, kone pistoli there kp31 so basically, the user can experience the winter war situation using a physical artifact in the virtual world. It was really cool to work with. On the other hand, we have, have done AR marketing campaigns. And we have done 
uh, simulations, security trainings, and tests done well so far. And we have also a lot of other stuff in the oven, but I cannot talk about them yet because they are not released by the clients. <laughs> You'll notice them. Awesome. Okay. And basically, we have our own games that we made, such as Cave Digger 1, Art Falls, and Cave Digger 2. And we are publishing great games such as Crystal Raiders, and VR Pigeons, and Time Patrol. And we have one more game that we are going to announce later. So it's another sh from me. But as Mary said, you are going to notice. I should definitely mention XR Marine, OU, XR Marine Limited, that we have done for them. Uh, I could say, like, Europe's first motorboat simulation. You are going to hear about it a lot also because they are marketing it as well. So, why are you as a company working with XR? We are basically innovators and we would like to. As I said earlier, we would like to work with projects that are first in our area. And XR has, has long been in the development. For example, like about, as everybody would probably know, about in 2015, let's say, it was still mentioned as an emerging technology, but it was still not there yet. Then our company decided to be, you know, spending time and effort and resources on this, seeing that, okay, this is the time that it's developing and this is the time that it's going to go somewhere. And especially major companies producing their own headsets and then VR headsets becoming more technological, more advanced, with more affordable and reachable costs, standalone headsets, of course, this has taken some speed. And in gaming side, uh, we were like expecting this opportunity. And once we understood the future of gaming is going to include so many different platforms and it's going to evolve and become some kind of like a wearable entertainment. So this is how we started in 2017 to develop our first VR game. And now we are seeing that uh, it's becoming a giant metaverse where you can be connected. And now we are seeing how great investment it was because we are here today talking inside of a game environment in virtual reality. And I can express myself to you. And I think that is, that is great, breathtaking the point where we came at the moment. And before it goes mainstream, being able to experience, experience this, it was, I feel, privileged. And what do you think is the best thing about working with XR? Mm, apart from the fact that like, you always get wow well moments from your friends when you show them like, what <laughs> you're working on. I mean, you produce stuff with leading technology which amazes people and which, which saves time, effort and money in business activities. I think that's rewarding. And from my side, I think the funniest part is explaining your parents and your friends that you are getting your salary by playing games and marketing games that is not even in this reality. It's in another world and Every time you have new like tools, new headsets, I am like trying them with my parents too when I visit them and seeing their like expressions. It's it's amazing because there are so many generation difference between us and also seeing them witnessing to this like where we are with the technology, it's also very entertaining for me. I'm a cruel doubter, I guess. How about the challenges? What do you feel are the biggest challenges of working with XR right now? Um, biggest challenge, I think, is that it's, a, it's still a new technology. So your typical potential customer or user does not necessarily know all the details about XR, what you can do with it, and how, how you can use it. So 
would say my biggest challenge is that first I need to train the customer. Yeah. Make them understand XR is and what you can do with it. If you could collaborate on a project with anyone in the world, who would that be for you? Probably everybody here knows about Kustok, all. I guess it's the yes. largest music festival in Northern Finland. So I would love to collaborate with them, actually. Um, I would like to work with Kustok people to build a virtual Kustok area, re replicate mm -hmm. the festival area and have people mingle there and they're like live video feeds. People can also join the festival mm -hmm. from their homes. It's like the Burning Man VR, but the Finnish version would be really cool. For me, I would like to collaborate with, like, I'm thinking about like smaller scale. I think VR is like very interesting and new place where you can like create your avatar and try to become who you are in virtual world too. So it's great to play air guitar. So. In Oulu, since 1992, in Finland, they are making air guitar like tournament worldwide. It is very famous. So if they can't bring people here, why not to make it in virtual reality? I'm like rock. A cool idea. What would be your dream project to work on? I would like to work something about space and do something that has been never done before by using my, I don't know, virtual twin or some kind of like XR related solution that is going to be tried for the first time. So uh, we have developed a prototype called Pistology XR, which like uh, it's video based on one of the screens we have around. So what I would love to do is that uh, to work on Histology XR with a pharmaceutical company to develop it further. What Histology XR does yeah. is that it helps medical staff and medical students and also, also doctors study bioimage samples in virtual reality using various XR3 headsets. And since it is still in, in prototype phase, uh, I think it's best that if we, if we work with pharmaceutical company on a global scale or a Finnish pharmaceutical company, take it further and commercialize it and put it into use of medical institutions and trainees because it, gives, it, it provides a great advantage over 2D, 2D images. So how do you guys see the future of this industry? A sentence i would say it's bright i believe in any kind of technology around the world technology or solution to stick around is that the most important fact in that is you need to be able to make it affordable easy to access better basically you need to offer something better for less if you are able to do that then you have a widespread adoption i would say I'm hoping and I believe that in the next five years, we are going to have significant developments in the XR industry and we are going to have it all in our homes. That's promising. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective, there is a buzzword word nowadays. I bet every person who is into this extended realities and the immersive technologies heard about it, the metaverse. It's not only like Facebook's new name, it is also a new world that everyone will take place in one way or another with their mobile device or VR headset or haptics, wearable suite, etc. So I think it's time to invest and people already like artists in general, they start to sell their products as NFTs in internet. So the the way how we perceive being consumer, being gamer, being a business person is going to change so soon and sooner or later people will have to contribute to that. So there will be 
5G coming and the devices can be connected to each other easily and to like faster. And these headsets won't be this heavy. So it's going to be so much easier to just jump into your like reality and study, work, create, invite your friends over and be with your loved ones in the same environment. So where can people find you online? Uh, you can find our developer or developers writing their uh, updates and how is it going with the development side as a blog and meet our teammates in the website if you are curious about our backgrounds and um, career path in general. You can be friends with us in LinkedIn. We are a very friendly team looking forward to connect more people. As for the Matt Chuckstar visitors, why should they visit your awesome space? Um, we have very friendly and curious staff that waiting you here and answering your questions. And we have so many great projects here showcased to inspire you and ignite your new business ideas so we can make them come true. And I have awesome things to show you upstairs. Wanna join me? Okay, so we're upstairs now. What is all of this? You are looking at all the tools and artifacts that you can see in Cave Digger 2, Dig Harder. So you can shoot your enemies, you can blow off the mines, and this hammer is very heavy. You should grab it with two hands. And you have shovel to dig harder, of course. And your pickaxe is a classic item from the first game as well. And now you have a gold pan and a backpack, and also this can help you to see behind the walls. But hey, this is not finished. Follow me, I will show you a video. Strike that rock! Do it! Strike the bottom for the nation! Time is a circle, and so are you! Mind that hole! Sell those! <laughs> Well, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Now, let me tell you the real deal around these lands. Bring your mates along with you, or head into the mines like a lone wolf. That's up to you, rookie. But don't cry for help when things turn south down there. The frontier ain't just about playing with the pickaxe anymore, newcomer. Gear up with your best tools prepare for the journey ahead. Them their caves are bursting with riches, just waiting to be looted. Oh yes. <laughs> Gold, jewels, and mystery are waiting for you down there. But beware, and prepare for anything. The depths of the earth are home to treasure and danger alike. But we wouldn't be here if a bunch of bugs would be a problem, right? So, what do you think you're doing? Put those tools to good use. Maybe you'll find more than you're bargaining for. By the way, my name's Clayton. I seem to be a little <laughs> disembodied right now. So I think I'll just tag along with you if you don't mind. Now get to swinging that pickaxe, rookie. 